So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about what happened recently on Twitter regarding some statements that Coral made. Um, we wanted to make this video to lay out the truth of the situation as clearly as we can. So with that being said, um, it's true. Going forwards, Coral will no longer be a part of the PALS. Um, we decided that only one of us should go through the points that will be covered in this video just to keep things as clear and concise as possible. Um, but with all that being said, getting into it without going into unnecessary detail, um, a few days ago, Coral was incredibly rude to a fan on Twitter publicly, and um, he said some things that we as a group, as well as a lot of the community, felt was completely unacceptable. Um, when we saw what he said, we were all shocked and immediately contacted him just to see what was going on. Uh, we all strongly suggested that he apologize. And to be completely honest, guys, he was very rude to us in response. Um, he, I guess he was upset that we weren't on his side and didn't see the situation through his eyes. Um, he refused to apologize. He refused to see the situation from another perspective. And uh, I just want you guys to know that this was not an easy decision for us to make. A lot of people seem to think that it happened very quickly and we just backstabbed him, but I, I hope you know that's not the truth at all. Um, when we, we were, we were kind of left with a, uh, not much of a choice. We had a conversation separately from him uh, that was, it was a very difficult conversation. It was very emotional. Um, especially when we realized we didn't really have much of a choice going forwards. Um, and I think really the most disappointing thing about all of this is how he handled everything after being told he was removed. Um, he didn't say anything to us. He simply left the Discord. He went straight to Twitter, and then he started tweeting a bunch of things, um, a lot of which were about the pals. And um, I know a lot of you guys probably don't want to hear this, but those tweets that he made are completely, th their, their whole purpose was to, to paint him as the victim. He wanted you guys to feel sorry for him. Um, and he, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to be honest, guys. Like he, he just decided to start tweeting lies about the pals. He wanted to drag us down with him. He started saying things like, the pals aren't actual real friends. We only talk to one another whenever we record videos, which is absolutely not true. He started saying things like, we never messaged him after what happened. And that's, again, absolutely not true. We messaged him immediately. Um, and one of the main responses that we got to this was that he deserves a second chance, is that everybody makes mistakes. And guys, I agree, people make mistakes and they deserve second chances. But when someone makes a mistake, they also try to fix that mistake. At no point did Brayden try to fix anything. He, he was rude to us when we addressed the things that he said. He caused extreme distress to the fan that he was rude to. He started tweeting lies about the group. And after all of that, he still hasn't apologized. So he was given a second chance and it was solely his decision to choose not to take it. Um, as for the future of the PALS channel, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, uh, for now we'll be taking a temporary break from making videos and we will 
we'll up you we'll we'll update you guys soon with uh, with how we choose to move forwards with things. Um, I also want to quickly mention, guys, please don't go and start sending Coral or anybody else hate. I think everyone involved just wants to move forwards from this. Um, and also a, a huge thank you to the Roblox community for supporting us through this. And especially a thank you to everyone who has reached out to the fan, uh, giving her some much needed love and support. Um, but I guess that's pretty much it, guys. I'm incredibly sorry of, of everything, the fact that this all had to happen in the first place. I, I truly hope you know that I wish it could have been another way. It, again, it was, it was not an easy decision for us to make. Um, but that's it. Um, thanks for listening, guys.